Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. Wanted to bring you guys a discussion video today on the Jordan 11 and the pull-out boxes on the holiday release, the uh, the Gamma 11s. And it's been rumored that, yes, we are going to get a pull-out box for the um, Gamma 11s. Uh, if you guys don't remember from last year, if you guys are long-time subscribers to my channel, there was a lot of uh, confusion about the uh, Bread 11s. They were actually, I, I did a video saying, yes, they were going to have a pull-out box. And then later I, I had to retract my statement because, in fact, they did not end up having a pull-out box. Um, there was actually a mix-up, I believe, in Jordan brand. Uh, it was supposed to have a pull-out box. They ended up producing way too many without it, so they went without it. That's the reason why we ended up getting the box we did. Uh, but um, I'm sure that they've corrected their mistake for this year, and we'll, we'll definitely be getting a pull-out box for the Gammas. Um, some images of the, the baby blue kind of plastic insert that you guys see like on these things have been... Um, kind of leaked and so we uh, have seen some of those if you haven't seen my uh, website collective kicks uh, I have uh, kind of some some images on there but wanted to know you guys' thoughts again kind of a re-up from the, the last video from last year do you guys care if it's a pull-out box or not and for me like did it do anything worse to the to the bread 11s because it didn't have a pull-out box um, no I mean I, I don't really think so I mean you don't wear the box a lot of people say and it's just one of those things that doesn't really matter now I think one reason why we like the pull-out boxes is because they're original. They're they're unique-looking boxes, and uh, it's out of all of the different Jordan boxes, as you can see in the background, these ones are the ones that stand out. It's it's a unique box for that shoe in in whatever color it is. This is um, obviously you can see the white and black, and then the cool grays have the uh, the gray. Um, and unfortunately for my Space Jams up here, this is one of those ones that people will say you can't. I don't even know. I don't want to get into the replica talk again, but People were like, oh, you can't really talk about it unless you own a pair. Well, I got these ones. Uh, they were a pre-release pair I got from RMK Store. And I don't even think these guys are around anymore. Uh, but I wanted to get that shoe, and this was back before I really knew anything about um, all, all the pre-release stuff. I thought I was pre-ordering those shoes, as I mentioned in the past, and that's what they ended up sending me. In the wrong box, because uh, it was a pre-released pair or whatever. So it's not an officially released Jordan. So... I don't know, I mean it looks and smells authentic, but uh, but I don't know if there's anything off. I don't have a real one to compare it next to. But regardless of that si sidebar, that one didn't have a pull-out box for me. Uh, one that did not have a pull-out box is these guys right here, the Anniversaries, because it had just the regular boxes you can see right here uh, when uh, it was released. So not a big deal that it wasn't a pull-out box. But I think that we, I think, in my opinion, the reason why it's nice to have a pull-out box is because it comes out a holiday release. And holidays like Christmas... And it's like, I don't know, I, the idea of, of unboxing something at Christmas time is, is kind of dope and having it be something original or, or not original but different uh, than the other boxes that you get I thought was kind of a cool um, idea. I don't know why they decided to do it like that in, in the first place, um, but uh, but I'm glad they, they are continuing to do so. Uh, so my prediction is yes, the Gammas will have a uh, special box. Obviously, we've been hearing that, so I'm not the only one to think this. Um, and it's just to rectify the, the fact that this one was a mistake um, and the box that the, the Bread 11 uh, came in was actually um, uh, an error. So I want to know your guys' thoughts though. Do you guys really care uh, if it's in a special box or not? It's not like they're charging us more for the box per se. A lot of people think that, oh, well, like the Bread 11 costs us more money than than the previous year, but and, and it doesn't even have a special box. That's what most people were upset about. Um, the Bread 11... Did cost a little bit more. I don't know how much the gammas are going to cost. It's always going to be a sliding scale every year, though. We're going to see an increase, five dollars here and there. And if you if you think about it, it's not that much money. I mean, to be honest, it's not that much money for an upcharge for the sneaker. Um, but I know a lot of people are really, really not happy with the the rising prices, and that's understandable to to some extent. I just it's it's a hard thing to to complain about considering the resale value, or not the resale value, but the resale costs are like double whatever the retail cost is almost so it's it's uh i'd rather pay jordan brand a little bit more especially if they're going to make more hopefully i mean that's what the nice part of them retroing a shoe is um if they make a uh, more quantity of, of a shoe it gives you a chance to get them at retail even if it's five dollars more it's better than paying the retail market uh in my opinion but that's just me let me know you guys thoughts we'll catch you guys for another video i always like uh pulling out the uh the jordan 11s these guys are some of my favorites um, and I figured this is kind of a fitting video for the one that I did the previous year. So hopefully you guys uh, weigh in in the comment section. Check the website if you guys have not again, collectivekicks.com. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.